Hey Tip Civilo Dave here with a quick video. This is kind of a unboxing or more of a showing type video. Um, as you see before you, this is the Draftmark tap system. This is a new beer system that will be coming out shortly. It might have already hit some of the stores, uh, but it's kind of making its way out to the main market. Um, we got lucky. We actually got this from a company called Buzz Agent, which is kind of like a trial service. They send you an item and you give it a try and you give them feedback. So my wife is, is heavily involved with them. And this is the first thing that actually sent something manly, so I'm getting to try this out. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out, I'll come back, then I'll show you the beer, how it sits in there and whatnot, and then uh, hopefully be enjoying one here in the next few minutes. I'll be right back. All right guys, here is pretty much what comes in the box, other than the actual machine, which I'll be putting out here after I kind of go over what's what you see before you. So in the box you get a charging cord, a battery, all kinds of instructions and special offers for participating in this. And then these things here are magnets that go on top of the actual um, spout so that you can uh, tell uh, what kind of beer is in there. So um, right now you're only going to find maybe about four or five different beers. I guess as they come along you'll find more. Uh, but basically what you'll find now out there is Michelob Amber Bach, uh, Bass, Budweiser, Shock Top, and the uh, Golden Island um, Honker Ale. And I've actually have the was able to find the Shocker Top and the Goose Island, so I'm going to be giving those a try today. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the machine before you, so you can kind of have a look at what the machine looks like. And then that is basically it there. Um, I'd say it's maybe about two feet long and maybe about you know ten inches wide, and. Uh, this is that's the actual unit that you would put the beer into so I'm gonna go ahead and get the battery charged and then we'll get the beer out of the fridge put it in there kinda of show you how it, how it went in there and then hopefully we'll be pouring a beer here soon I'll be right back with you alright guys um, I decided to go ahead and uh, show you step by step on how to actually get this going according to their rules step one is you chill the beverage which we have done uh, step 1B is to charge the battery until you get a green light, which we have done now. And now we're going to do the last step in step 1, which is insert the battery pack. So my helpful assistants are going to lift it and place in the battery pack. And it simply just slides in there. And you heard the click. So now we're going to move on to step 2. Alright guys, we're back at step number 2 now. So in step number 2A, they're asking us to open the unit, which you press that down and you open it. We next have to raise the orange latch, and now we're going to insert the spout. And then once we the spout comes, every new little package of beer you get comes with a fresh spout, so you're not having to reuse the same spout over and over again. And you just saw that get open. And now we're going to uh, push the spout into place, and then we're going to close the orange latch. So we're going to do that now. Okay, now we're just going to insert the spout. And to do so, you just put it in there, and now we just push down on that and it is now ready for us to move on to step three which is actually putting in the beer so let me get the beer out of the fridge and I'll be right with you guys now we're gonna insert the beer as you can see there it, it is a nice cool little thing and I can give you some facts on the beer real quick it is a 3.8 liter beer and then once you put it in there you lock it into place and now you close the machine now locked into place and so now, according to this, as you heard that little noise, that means it's actually broke the seal. It is now time for us to go ahead and give a pour. Um, now, you, we're going to do this, but you're probably going to see a lot of foam because every video I've seen or everybody I've talked to says first few glasses is a lot of foam. But basically, we're just going to show you how this thing should work. So let me get a mug, and I will be right back. All right, now I'm going to put my glass under here. And they say try to have it at a 60-degree angle. Uh, I didn't do too good at math, so hopefully that's 60 degrees. And then you just simply pull down on this. It's going to pour. And then the motor kicks on just to kind of help it. And we got ourselves a beer. And that's not too bad considering some of the videos I've seen. Um, it actually starts getting a little better um, through, as the more time you use it. And then, like I said in our, early in the video, the magnets basically come with whatever you have in there and then you place it there and now if you're having a party or something you will never not know what's in your beer so um, that's how uh, it comes with and like I said 
it comes in several. Um, I actually, the one that's in there now is the, the shock top. Um, I tasted the first foam foam one, and I tell you what, I really liked it. I mean, it honestly tastes like you're, you're at a draft house and you're getting beer. Um, just in case you're wondering, I was correct. I, I, I was worried that I wasn't. It is 3.8 liter, uh, the little thing that's in the actual each box that comes with the spout. Um, it's saying it'll make about, you know, 14 beers, I guess, depending on the size of the glasses. And, um, you know, they you got 30 days once you tap it. So um, I know a lot of you out there, that's not going to be a problem. You probably get that done in a weekend or two, but 30 days. And I think if this thing takes off, you can honestly see them adding more beers. Uh, but right now they only have um, a few, like I said. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to drink a little bit of all this. And then the cool thing is you can store the whole unit in the refrigerator. So um, once you tap it, you can't take it out. So um, it's good for 30 days. And then um, once that's done, you can throw the same one in or try something different like I'm going to do. And so maybe in a future video, I'll kind of go over what the Goose Island tastes like. But um, I really like the shock top. So hopefully you found this video very informative. Please like, subscribe, ask, feel free to ask any questions. I'll, I'll, I'm always here to answer. And um, hopefully if you do guys get one, you enjoy it. And like I said, so far I'm really enjoying this. We'd like to thank Buzz Agent for sending it to us. And uh, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful weekend. This is Sybilo Dave, and I'm out.